This video describes uh, how to loop diffusers together for power and communications. Uh, there are a number of do's and don'ts that need to be considered. Um, so every diffuser comes with a slave cable, one slave cable that uh, is four cores and is eight meters long. It's used to create the connection between the next diffuser and sometimes uh, the power supply, which is this product over here. Um, so the cable that we supply um, is um, factory manufactured. Um, it is fitted with a automotive uh, mini fit connection on either end with a latch. Um, you can only plug this in uh, in one direction and um, it is plugged into the interface box um, on the back of the diffuser. You just need to face the clip upwards, um, push it in until you hear it snap, give it a light tug to just make sure it is connected securely and then uh, connect this cable to the next diffuser. Uh, in the ceiling, like so. You can then take uh, the next cable on the diffuser and just continue the process from the open connector to the next diffuser. So there is a limitation to the number of diffusers that can be connected to one power supply. That number is 15. Um, there's also a limit to uh, the amount of cable length that you can use um, in one installation on a power supply. That length is 150 meters. Um, if for some reason the 8 meter cable that we supply is uh, too short, um, you can order longer lengths. So it's important to plan beforehand and notify record of your cable lengths that you require. Um, if um, it's difficult to plan exactly and you might want some flexibility on site, then it's a good idea to order um, some cable extensions. The cable extensions have uh, a female on the one end and a male on the other, and that'll allow you to connect the female to the male um, and add an extra two, three meters, um, depending on what your requirement is. So just keep the total length of the installation to 150 meters. And if you add extension pieces, you cannot add more than five extensions um, per power supply.